Hello guys and welcome to MedTube again and today I will gladly demonstrate to you how to read an abdominal radiograph in less than one minute using these steps the same ones which we have just explained in our previous video and we will be taking this abdominal radiograph as an example and here's the chief complaint of our patient a 36 years old male presents to the emergency department with 10 hours duration of generalized abdominal pain, abdominal distension, nausea, and vomiting. And of course, before starting to comment, we'll first have to step back a little bit and have a general look on the radiograph to have a complete view, and then we'll start by commenting. So, let's start with one, two, and three. This is an erect abdominal radiograph in the AP projection, as it is the standard projection in abdominal radiographs. I do not see any patient details, so I would like to confirm that this is the correct patient with the hospital number, date, and time also mentioned. Regarding the technical quality, we can see both the hemidiaphragms, but I cannot see the pubic symphysis nor the hernial orifices. Therefore, this is a technically inadequate radiograph. However, the penetration is adequate because we can see the spinous processes through the vertebral bodies. And now looking for obvious abnormalities, the most striking abnormality is the air fluid level we can see in the central and the epigastric regions. And since there are valvulae conneventes traversing the whole width of the bowel, and the width of this bowel is more than 3 centimeters, we can say that this is small bowel dilatation. And now moving to the systematic review, we can see that the small bowel is enlarged. We cannot see any gas in the large bowel, however we can note some fecal material as in here. And there are no signs of pneumoperitoneum, such as free air under the diaphragm or double wall sign. Therefore, there are no visible signs of perforation. The size of the solid organs of the abdomen look normal, such as the liver and the spleen. There are no obvious calcifications or stones in the gallbladder, nor in the kidneys, nor in the path of the ureters, nor in the urinary bladder. And there are no obvious skeletal abnormalities. And finally, I cannot see any foreign bodies, such as drains, lines, or clips. And this tiny radiopaque object, it's probably an artifact. On summary, this patient is suffering from small bowel obstruction, but first we certainly need further clinical assessment and physical examination to determine whether this is a functional or mechanical obstruction, and for that we may do a small bowel follow-through, and we definitely need an urgent surgical consultation. And that's it! That was simple, wasn't it? And again, it took more than one minute. But in order to do it quickly, and to make sure that you're not missing any of the important steps, I really advise you that you follow all of these steps in every abdominal radiograph that you see, so that you become familiar with all of them, and to make sure that you're not missing any of the important findings. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you on the next video on orthopedic x-rays. And I wish you a wonderful day ahead.